Hi. Hi. I saw I saw you even chuckling when you were listening to that trailer. In a world. <laughs> yeah, it's uh yeah, we've we've done crime light really well for a long time. Um it's been a lot of fun, but uh, the stakes are pretty high. Did you ever think when you signed on to do this show that it would get dark? Um well, you always hope to to have different colors and different things to do. Uh so so it's great when there's um high stakes and and you know the showrunners see an opportunity to to sort of crank it up Mm -hmm. i I was very happy yeah why is it time to do this now why is it time to go a little grittier now uh you know it's funny there's always been a great balance with the show um we get to do a lot of comedy we get you know we got romance and intrigue and all the different sort of historical references and and that sort of thing uh amping it up is uh is great because it gives it a little bit more of a serial vibe it's a very sort of formatted show you wrap up a crime in 42 minutes every mm-hmm. week but to have stuff carry over um is fun so it creates some suspense and and brings you know people back with an appetite it's uh it's an awesome change i mean are you worried at all i mean part of the appeal of murdoch mysteries is that it's it's, it's kind of innocent you know it's been called a family show uh, former former prime minister stephen harper once said he he watched every episode with his young daughter he was even in an episode is, is there danger in losing that kind of familial appeal here well, we're treading a fine line. Right. Yeah. Um, so this isn't like breaking Murdoch. This isn't. No, I, I, no. <laughs> I wouldn't say we're going that far. Um, no, definitely not. Uh, we're not going to, you know, break the show. We're not going to uh, change it drastically or anything like that. As a matter of fact, I think I think there were some notes going around that were uh, something like, ooh, uh, we got a little dark there. Uh, <laughs> Everything guys. okay at home? Man? Everything, okay. yeah. So. Um, we're all very happy, and I, I think, you know, based on the scripts that we've been doing so far in season 11, uh, now that we're back, um, things are back to normal and uh, different, um, some how, changes. But how about you as an actor? Is, is this more enjoyable for you? Um, well, the great thing about doing this show is that I, I get to be the straight man in a comedy sometimes. Mm-hmm. I, I get to be the the, you know, the romantic lead i get to be the hero i I get to be the intellect i get to do a lot of things on this show so changing it up for me makes me happy for sure detective murdoch doesn't even uh, really look like himself in the upcoming season you know he has the five o'clock shadow uh, he's kind of disheveled how do you think the fans are going to react to that well we've done a bit of that in the past um but yeah that sort of adds to the the sort of displacement uh the 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 stakes and and you know murdoch's always been a very buttoned down guy uh, sort of uh very black and white mm-hmm. <laughs> so being sort of thrust into this uh, um very high stakes situation it, it's it's fun it's different plus you don't have to shave well, you know what? Funny enough, I had to shave throughout anyway. Uh, Even though you had a five o'clock shadow, you still had to shave. Yeah, we had to add that in because nothing gets shot in sequence, and <laughs> so some of it was without beard, some of it was with, and uh, there was no way to actually do it without shaving. So uh, most of the time, it's it's fake, incredibly uncomfortable. Oh yeah. So uh, when I was a kid, my mom used to. Uh, oh, if I wanted to go as a pirate for Halloween, she would like open up. She would put Vaseline in my face and then open up a tea bag. And then rub the tea bag. It was in my face. basically the same thing. Okay, right. Basically, you the called same thing. Sheila Power from St. John's, Newfoundland. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, we do the same thing. It's a wax product, and then actual uh, shaved shavings of of my own um, collected and sprinkled on. That's uncomfortable. Oh man, yeah. So I gotta walk around with a, a toothpick at all times, so I can sort of itch without disturbing the art on my face oh my god uh fans of the show are anxious to know what's going on in the next season anything you can tell us well i can tell you um some people live some people die and some people go to jail that's 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 mysterious (laughs) that's murdoch mysterious you're giving me here right now yeah well you know we're right about to premiere the uh season 11 uh uh, first episode so it's kind of tough for me to talk about uh, uh too much is crabtree gonna be okay is johnny harris's character gonna be all right uh he'll be all right i don't know <laughs> i don't know he's out there doing still standing he'll be all right as a as a professional uh in this world um <laughs> no, but, no matter uh, what happens to him on no matter murdoch. what happens to him on murdoch he's doing just fine uh you're listening to q on cbc radio if you're just tuning in 
uh, speaking with Yannick Bisson about the new season of CBC's hit show, Murdoch Mysteries. Is this still fun playing Murdoch after all these years? Oh, man, yeah. I'm I'm very lucky in that regard. I mean, how many people get to do five years on a show, ten years on a show? Yeah. Um, and, and being sort of synonymous with the character and, and being in people's homes every week, it's, um, it's a very unique opportunity. Uh, I never thought that it would go like this. Um, we started out uh, 11 years ago. It was a period show on a, a tiny sort of non-network in, a, in an ocean of procedural shows. Uh, there were no period shows, none, in 2007. So I liked the premise. I, I liked the idea, but I didn't have huge hopes for it. Although I did in the back of my mind think, well, it's a period show, so the shelf life would be pretty good. <laughs> It'll air, you know, probably forever, and <laughs> you know that'll be my two or three years, whatever the average is of a show. And that's all you thought it was going to be, maybe a couple of years. Yeah, that's the usual. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And how are you feeling about it now? I mean, can you see yourself doing it much longer? Um, you know, it's funny. Every year, I brace myself for 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 a change. I, I brace myself for the well. You know, this this could be it. And uh, <laughs> oh, so like not, not your own decision. I'm talking about your own decision. I mean, can you see yourself being like, you know what? I think I've done all I can do with Murdoch. It's been like 11 years. Oh n- no, not at all. Every year, it's it's actually quite surprising. Um, the scripts are fresh. The stories are unique. Um, we don't really repeat ourselves very much, um, which would definitely put me off. Um, I have a difficult time with that. Anytime it becomes repetitive, I'm out. It's hard. It's hard to have a show on the year <clears throat> for 11 years and not feel like it's a bit repetitive. Yeah, I mean, as as an artist, you you want to do different things. You want to push boundaries. You want to try to uh, uh, you know exercise different muscles. So so that is tough. But you know, I have a, a good chunk of the year off each year that I can go and do other things. Mm-hmm. So it's definitely not uh, like I'm missing out. And and has the way you played this character, Detective Murdoch, changed? Do you think over ten seasons? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Um, I think it's been a slow sort of peeling the layers of a very large onion, um, you know, a little bit at a time. Started out very sort of closed, buttoned down um, opinions and and dogma and different things like that. And, you know, as you meet people, unique circumstances, uh, uh, universal themes, things that we you know, all discuss and, and think about every day. We've sort of woven that into the show, and, mm-hmm. and, and you can't help but have your character sort of open up a little bit and be more um, uh, sort of open-hearted, open mind, um, especially given that, you know, he's very much... Uh, um, he, he's a scientist in a way. He, he, he very much looks at things nuts and bolts, and uh, so having to sort of marry his thoughts on on religion and social stuff and then also science he can't help but just get a little looser and a little looser and uh it's been interesting i certainly don't uh, approach scripts today like i did 10 years ago how how long is that like how long have you been in the acting business now uh I think this year will be 35 years. 35 years. Does, yeah, it, was, does uh, that feel strange coming out of your lips even? Yeah, well, it's weird because it used to be, you know, a badge of honor. Uh. <laughs> it's been 20 years. It's been, th- oh, my God, it's been 35 years. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's uh, it's it's cool. It's weird. Um, and I'm really grateful I've been able to stay employed and be be, you know, given work and and be relevant uh, on on the landscape of, you know, a lot of people, a lot of genres, a lot of different stuff that comes and goes. Um, It's a real privilege. You're getting, sure. you're getting stopped in the mall. I mean, I mean, you you, you played all these roles over 35 years. Um, are more, I'm guessing more often than not, you're stopped in the mall, and, and I don't know how often you go to the mall, but you know, you're going to you're going to bootlegger, and you get told that you, hey Murdoch, you know, this doesn't this doesn't bother you. Um, no, not at all. Uh, it, it's it's pretty much all the time now. Um, 
you know, and you don't you don't really realize how far into people's homes you you go. Um, I, I hear stories of people. Hey, yeah, I just want to let you know your show your show meant a lot to to, to our family. Uh, my father recently passed, and it was the one thing that we shared together. We watched uh, uh, every week, and uh, it was his favorite show. And I just want to say thanks. And he's, you know, it's like oh, oh wow. You know, I don't. Because when you're on the set, you don't know that you're having that. No, impact. not no. at all. I, you know, and I certainly don't watch shows with that much investment. Um, well, maybe a couple, but uh, mm-hmm. Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's me. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. Game of Thrones, maybe. Yeah, I, I, guess, I, I would say that's probably more likely. Yeah, yeah right. For me, apparently, it's Jeopardy. <laughs> um, how, how would you like to see Murdoch Mysteries grow in the future? This is a little bit of a, a darker season this year. Do you want to see the show keep taking risks? Well, we we bring new creative people on. Um, we've had uh, a lot of great new directors this year. We have um, uh, part of our writing staff is new, uh, fresh, enthusiastic. So, so that's been fun. I think the show, the way it's been for the past few years, really works. It's firing on all cylinders. We we we've hit the number one spot most of the time through the season. It's. Um, I wouldn't like to see it change too much. I, like I said, I really enjoy the different stuff that we do. We have some really light episodes. We had this dorky, weird episode that was uh, Weekend at Murdoch's. It was a little bit of a Weekend at Bernie's type of, you know, carrying a corpse around. I, I, must, I think I must have missed Weekend at Murdoch's. Yeah, you know, a lot of people <laughs> a lot of people jumped up and down on their keyboards about that one. Um, Hold on, so it was, like, it was like Weekend at Bernie's you were carrying? Oh, yeah, yeah. We had... Um, gentleman named Cyrus who's a you know great Stratford actor in there and he was playing this you know <laughs> dead body of himself and it was hilarious it was fun it was uh, it was kind of like a sidestep for us and and we all really enjoyed it we all just went for it and uh, and some people freaked out you know what is this what are you doing to my show and Did so you on. do you read any of that uh, I that I heard about I did see a couple of comments on Twitter and um I fired back. I was, you know. Do you really? Yeah. What do you drive the same way home every day? Like, do you come on? Yeah. It's it's our job, and we do like to take risks. We do like to allow creative people to do the things that they do. We that's why we bring them. So, what do you think it is about the show that makes people so passionate about it that they're going to stop you when you're at, you know, Jeans Experts and talk to you a little bit about, um, you know, how much the show means to them, or they're going to get on their keyboard and freak out when you do Weekend at Murdoch's? Well. We get a bit of both. Uh, but what, what, what is it about the show that inspires that kind of passion, do you think? You know what? I couldn't tell you. Um, I get asked that question a lot. And every mm-hmm. single person I speak to, and this is, I know I'm going to say this for the thousandth time, but every single person I talk to says something different. Um, I love the romance, you and Julia. It's just so beautiful when are you gonna marry that woman when are you gonna have kids all you know and then there's oh that george crabtree you know i mean it's everybody's something different um when you had the u.s president on or when you had teddy roosevelt oh and your dog i saw your bulldog (laughs) on the show you know it's something different um, some people like the historical references. Some people like the crime, the, the the puzzle. I don't know. It's always something different. Kids like the clothes. I, I don't know. They dress up like us at Halloween. What What about you? How How has doing this show changed your life over 10, 11 years? Um, well, it was the first time ever for me that I was shooting a show in my country that was being seen by people in my country and my family, my family actually was, oh, oh, so, you know, you are an actor. It was, oh, so yeah, up until then, was, you were, you were, they, they, they believed that dad was working somewhere, but yeah. they never, you know, now, now they believed it. Yeah, my dad, um, last year, <laughs> my dad emailed me. And How he old is he now? Uh, he's uh, 70. Right. He emailed me last year and he says, I caught an episode of that Murdoch show. <laughs> last year? You're pretty good. It's good. I said, well, yeah, thanks. T- ten years in, <laughs> my dad. You know, so it's it's kind of like that. It it, it really did change my life professionally. Um, you know, having a steady income doesn't hurt. Put my kids through decent schools. You know, try to sort of 
improve things for the next generation. Mm -hmm. um, but also, I think the, the, the country changed a little bit. We had, you know, the 2010 Olympics. I, I think we're all just a little more proud of ourselves. Um, the, the, the product that we've been making has always been good, but we've had promotion behind it. People are watching Canadian productions. People are proud of them. And, and so there's been a bit of a, a, a shift, and, and it's, it's really cool to be a part of that. Yannick Bisson, it's been a pleasure to have you in today. Wow. Are we done already? We're done. Do you have to go back to set right now? Yeah. Yeah, we're shooting nights, so I'm up early right now. So you came in, you did the show, and now you're going to get in the van, head back, and, and put on the garb and be Murdoch again. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot for coming in. Well, thank you for having me. I, I'm, you know, so thrilled. To, uh, Q, for how many years now? And I finally made it. Is this I'm your here. first time on the show? First time here. Well, come back. Okay. Tomorrow. <laughs>